This is a little look into how my life has looked like for the past year of working 32 hours at my regular job, trying to start and run a small business as well as document everything, edit and post on YouTube. It is Monday morning. This morning I already did my doctor's appointment. I had someone come to the house to fix my freezer door that's been broken for three months. And now I have to work in 20 minutes. I have to go actually to the post office to drop off a package today, but it's Monday and everything is only open from 12 to six today, which is exactly when I'm working. So I use my break. Okay, got 10 minutes to drop off my package. Tuesday. I don't work till 12 today, so we are editing again this morning. Not that exciting to be honest. Every Monday and Tuesday, I usually work 12 to 6.30. So every morning, like Monday, Tuesday morning and evening is solely dedicated to editing because I need to edit my video for Wednesday. I'm off to work early because I realized when I was editing my last video, I needed to get one last shot at the post office for last week's video. So. I'm quickly just running there first, do my shot, and then go to work. It's 7 a.m., going to the gym. Doing my best, basically. Oh, look, no hair. a.m. I was only at the gym for like 45 minutes, came home at 8, had a shower, had my breakfast, made my coffee, got ready. Now we're here. I have about an hour before I have a quick appointment I have to go to. Then I have to come home and I work at 12 again, 12 to 6.30. So I have probably like, I want to say like an hour and a half to two hours. I did start the two black flower bags that I had left, so I have all the straps made. I just need to... Oh, I need to do the bias on this, don't I? Perfect. Biases are done and complete. They're ready for the straps now, but I need to pop out now for a bit like probably half an hour or so i mean half an hour for me like 0.5 seconds for you we are back ready to roll with the straps the one thing i have learned over one year of trying to balance a almost full-time job and trying to start a business is that literally every second counts i'm always putting a timer on and seeing how much i can do in the hour like i always want to like beat the clock also i think i just thrive on time constraints it always pushes me like if i give myself deadlines i really will like do whatever i can to meet the deadlines but i do advise that sometimes you need to put time aside to hang out with your friends which i did monday night if i didn't do that i think that i would really be burnt out And off to work again. I came home from work, chilled for a second, grabbed some wine, which I'm almost done. And I just came up to the studio because I need to double check my inventory for my packaging supplies. I only have 20, I think like 20 hang tags left, but I still need to put hang tags on all my flower bags. Oh yeah, also I finished the black ones, so now we have two black ones. I wanted to change or like refresh my packaging a bit. I want to use 
boxes like this now something that can still go through the like letter box this right now actually holds all my business cards this is my business card <laughs> To fold them, they have to be a square, but to get a square, I actually print them on A4 and I cut every single one out. This box is completely full of it, but I want to actually just measure the box to see the exact size because I love the size of it. It is 10 o'clock and we are back in the studio again. I had a bit of a lazy morning, I would say. Oh, that's quite bright. I... Uh, yeah went to the gym again this morning with my friend and came home had a shower but then was just chilling on the couch for a bit too long but we're we're here back in the studio and i have a couple things that i actually want to do today uh one is working on my fabric catalog i wanted to work on my fabric catalog because why is it stuck there we go because I'm doing a market in a couple weeks I think like oh two weeks already <sighs> got a lot to do but I thought it could be a fun thing to have displayed on the table that people can flip through just to get another idea of the fabrics I've used where they come from I honestly thought I had a lot more swatches to do but <laughs> looks like I don't like maybe six or seven My hair is going frizzy that curly curly hair life This will be like a fun little touch, I think, to add on the table. Hopefully to get people talking. I don't know what else to do except sew because I have to sew like seven flower bags and I was aiming by the end of the week to have them done. So I'm just gonna start with these maroon ones. I won't get them done in an hour, but like I'll get probably halfway. I'm just honestly sporadically sewing a lot. work again it is Thursday evening and I'm honestly getting kind of tired but I'm just coming up here to sew for probably an hour before dinner I'm still working on the maroon bags I did the bias and everything now I'm just going to do all the straps I need I always like press them all first and then sew after you know the drill you know how it is let's get to sewing I was just thinking the other way that I managed to do everything is just because I forced myself to do so much. Even when I don't want to do things, I just think about my massive to-do list. And if I don't do it now, then it's just going to get way too overwhelming and way too much on other days. I really do force myself to do a lot. For this, I was just vegging out on the couch. But then I was like, no, you know what? Like, I really should go upstairs and it's so willpower i guess that's what it's called it is a friday morning and i have to work all day 9 30 to 6 30 i'm just getting my stuff ready but i have an hour break so my bag just fell over i want to go to the market that happens every friday on my break to get flowers because I need to really make some content for the flower bags tomorrow I have the day off so that's kind of what my plan is tomorrow but the market only happens today so that's why I need to go now I'm bringing both sizes because I'm not sure if I want to like get one bouquet or a couple there's something I'm still trying to decide but I'll just bring it anyways gotta run <laughs>
friend, it is Saturday. It's already noon. I went to this event last night in the city center and I needed all morning to just like sleep in and chill for a second. But I actually received all the new packaging stuff that I ordered earlier this week. I received it yesterday. So I wanna just do like a little mock-up to see if I like it. Okay, not bad. I totally ordered some paper and then realized I already had some paper just hiding in my shelf down here. So that wasn't so smart. Straps down, flip it around. I would make this so much nicer for you, by the way. <clears throat> and then I also bought ribbon. Okay, I don't like the ribbon match. I think I remember why I didn't use this paper is because I didn't like the shade of blue, even though it says sky blue. Mine is more like periwinkle blue. So conclusion, love the boxes, love the ribbon. I mean, I did buy the whole spool of ribbon at the market, but I'm just obsessed with it. I just don't like the paper. So I think I'm gonna return and buy something else. Let's get back to sewing.